Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. We will look into guide to D app. We will create a voting contract first of all. We will then create the front end for this contract. We will use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to create a simple page for this D app. After that, we will also look into the contract. We will make sure that it is working correctly on Remix ID. And at the end, we will create the complete D app. We will look into the process of how to connect A, B, C, and everything. In the first video, we will look into creating the contract for voting D app. Let's get into the Remix ID and create the voting contract. All right, now we are in the Remix ID and I've created a file, empty file, votes.sol. Firstly, let's give the version 0.5.0. .0. Then let's create a contract with the name voting in this contract we're going to create three functions the first function will be total votes for the main use of this function is to count the number of votes and the second function we will create vote for candidate this function is solely for voting for a particular candidate in order to do that we also need to make sure that the user is valid or we need to make sure that the user hasn't been voting multiple times in the third and final function it is just a validation function it will check whether the user who is trying to vote is valid or not let's dive into these functions we will create the list for storing the candidates and since we can't create array of strings in solidity we will use bytes 32 array and then next constructor Then we will make the constructor public. Inside the constructor, the candidate list which one gives while creating the contract will be the permanent list. So let's make sure that the parameter which is given in the constructor will be stored in the variable above. And later on, let's create a mapping for the count of votes received for each candidate. For that, we will take bytes 32 as key and you in 8 for the votes since votes won't be native we are taking you in and let's name it as votes received the first function will be total votes for inside which we will take bytes 32 this will be view since it will only check the total number of votes candidate got it will return the number of votes inside that first of all we need to write two required statements the first one will make sure that it is valid candidate we'll write the function below but for now let's keep it like that we don't need another require we'll just return the votes received now let's create the second function which is vote for candidate it takes the same parameter bytes 32 which is the name of the candidate by the way doesn't return anything obviously because we're just simply voting inside which also we need to make sure the require which is valid candidate and then we will just increment the vote for that specific candidate whom the user has voted there you go that is vote for candidate and the third and final function is just the validation function which we discussed we'll take bytes 32 again this is view since we're not returning anything we're not changing any memory or variable in the blockchain we will just check inside this we will run a loop we will run through the list of candidates above and make sure that the candidate which a person is actually voting is present in that list for u and i equal to zero just like java len i plus plus inside this for loop we will iterate through that list and make sure if candidate list of i equal to candidate then we want to return true or else false there you go this is our validation function now we have our three functions written here let's see we have any errors or not the first one says 
type is not callable. Let's make sure if it's bytes 32. We kept curly brackets instead of square. All right, that's good to go. And there you go. We have no errors and we have successfully compiled.